Market Street between Garland and Francis has been torn up since July. Crews are putting in new sidewalks, street lamps, and trees. It's aimed at helping businesses. But as KXY 4's Tori Brunetti found out, it's hurting them right now. Construction is well underway on the Market Street project in Hilliard. And while the streets are busy with construction traffic, what they're not seeing is foot traffic. And foot traffic is what the businesses need desperately to stay open. It's been like a ghost town. Construction on market has shut down the street and has turned business into a slow drizzle. It's been quite devastating. The roadwork has given Aunt B, owner of Aunt B's Antiques, some extra cleaning to do. Jokingly with all this dust, I've been telling people when you walk in, here's a dust drag, dust as you go. And it creates a, oh, uh, oh, I don't know, a little magic in the store, I guess you'd say. But there aren't a lot of customers to create that magic. It's really rough right now. It's really rough. Across the street and a few doors down, Pam owns PJ's Express Cafe, and she feels Aunt B's pain. It's slow for everybody. We're just trying to keep above water. Pam didn't make enough money to cover the cost of her rent last month. But one hot dog at a time. Three dollars. Pam hopes she can stay open long enough to see the finished product. It's just going to get better. We're excited for the grand opening. If you follow the smell of home cooking a few doors down, that's where you'll find Lynn Moore. She's cooking up more of that Hilliard optimism. I think that we're going to be very busy. Lynn opened up Ma Barker's Cafe a month ago, and the construction had already started. We had dirt streets, no sidewalks, no anything. She thinks her business has been steady, but admits she doesn't know what to expect. They were thinking we were a little on the crazy side. <laughs> These businesses are hoping to follow in Aunt B's footsteps. Take a look at this. Aunt B has been Just collecting look at it. and selling treasures in Hilliard for 15 years. When the going gets tough, the tough get going. I'm one of the tough. I stick it out. A water main replacement set this whole project back about a week or so, but the businesses are still hoping to have a grand reopening here on November 14th. In Hilliard, Tori Brunetti, KXLY4 HD News.